today, currently sitting on the Greco hot seat, is a man who saw an opportunity, took it, and ran with it here in the Tampa area. John Osterweil, president of Memorabilia Magic. John, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much. You know, I always wonder, the, the memorabilia industry topped $1.5 billion in business last year. Why do you think it is that people are so fascinated with this type of industry that it could drive such a robust profit? I think all of us are, are interested in collectibles, whether it's collecting uh, baseball cards or collecting autographed baseballs or collecting uh, antique cars or the like, guns, etc. cetera. Uh, I think we all are are kids at heart. As we get older, we, we remember our past and we're interested in, in acquiring uh, collectibles. And it's a very relaxing hobby and uh, it's just gone, gets grown by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. You know, I always wonder to myself, do you see any correlation to say what you do, which is mainly sports? I mean, you also have entertainment right, right. and historical and political autographs, things of that nature. But uh, do you see any correlation to the growth in sports memorabilia? to Hollywood producing comic books and, and superheroes and also driving that industry. I mean, there's got to be some sort of relatability there. I think all of that is part and parcel of, of the collectibles uh, phenomenon, if you, if you will. And uh, people collect comic books now as, as, you know, as avidly as they collect baseballs. Yeah. And uh, I think all these things like Comic-Con, you know, these things we have at the convention center here in the Tampa area, mm -hmm. all those things promote uh, collectibles.